Have you ever thought about how much you spend on coffee each day? Let's take a moment to explore this. Picture your daily cup of joe, a simple pleasure that kickstarts your morning and keeps you going during that mid-afternoon slump. The average cost of this caffeinated delight? Well, depending on where you live and your coffee preferences, it can range from 2 to 5 bucks, give or take. Now, on its own, it doesn't seem like much. It's just a small part of your day, an expense that gets lost in the hustle and bustle of life. But here's a little food for thought. Consider the regularity of this expense. Every day, week after week, month after month, year after year, these small amounts begin to accumulate. This brings us to a concept known as the latte factor. Intriguing, isn't it? What if we told you this seemingly trivial daily expense could be costing you a fortune over time? Ever heard of the latte factor? It's not about your favorite coffee shop's secret recipe. No, it's a metaphor that unveils how your small everyday expenses can snowball into significant amounts over time. Picture this, you're grabbing that daily cup of joe, perhaps a latte, maybe a cappuccino. It seems like a trifle, right? But have you ever stopped to calculate the yearly cost of this daily indulgence? Now, it's not just about coffee, it's about all those seemingly insignificant purchases we make. That candy bar at the checkout line, the extra pair of shoes on sale, even the premium apps on your phone. They all add up, bit by bit, forming a substantial chunk of your spending. Think of the latte factor as a friendly nudge, pushing you to reconsider your spending habits. It's a reminder that small changes can lead to big savings. Imagine if you saved that coffee money each day, where would you be in a year, or even 10? Scene script. Let's crunch some numbers, shall we? Imagine this. You're buying a cup of coffee every day. It doesn't seem like much, right? Just a small daily treat. But let's break it down. If a cup of coffee costs an average of $4, that's $28 every week. It might still seem like small change, but stay with me. Now let's look at a month. Four weeks in a month, that's $112. We're starting to see a pattern here. So, what about a year? Multiply that monthly cost by 12 and you're spending a whopping $1,344 on coffee alone. And a decade? $13,440? That's a small car, a luxury vacation, or a hefty chunk off your mortgage. Shocked? You're not alone. But remember, knowledge is power and now you know the real cost of that daily brew. It's not about giving up your caffeine fix, but about understanding the financial implications of your daily habits. Small changes can lead to significant savings. Instead of stopping by the coffee shop every day, why not consider brewing your own cup at home? It's not just about the cost of the coffee. Think about the time you spend queuing, the gas you burn driving there, and the cost of those tempting pastries on the counter. What about other areas of your life? Do you often find yourself buying lunch out when you could have packed a sandwich? Or perhaps there's a subscription service you're not really using. Small changes like these can add up over time, leaving you with a tidy sum that you can put towards your dreams. So start thinking about your own latte factor. Remember, it's the small things that add up. So next time you're queuing for that latte, think about your latte factor.